Clough and I'm from Syngenta uh, and I want to give you an example of how organic chemistry has contributed to agricultural productivity. It's the story of the invention of the agricultural fungicide azoxystrobin. Plants get fungal infections in the same way as we do uh, and an infected plant is a sick plant which gives lower yields uh, and poorer quality crops and of course that's bad news for farmers because they want high yields and high quality reliably each year. And so farmers tend to use chemical sprays uh, onto, the, onto the growing plants, although sometimes they also apply chemical fungicides to the seeds of a crop before planting. One of the key research activities uh, in Syngenta is the search for new fungicides. Uh, and although there are already many fungicides on the market, there is always uh, a good reason to invent a new fungicide, particularly a new fungicide with a novel biochemical mode of action, because they tend to be active against fungi that are resistant to other existing fungicides. And of course then the problem arises, how do you invent a new fungicide? Uh, and one area that we turn to is nature. We seek inspiration from the natural chemicals uh, that we can find uh, in the environment. And in the story of azoxystrobin, the origin was a family of fungi that grow on decaying wood, particularly uh, the slimy beech cap, which you may have seen growing in English woodlands in the autumn. As this fungus grows, its mycelia produce a variety of fungicidal compounds. Now, we first became aware of these compounds by reading the chemistry literature and we were drawn particularly to the simplest of the compounds, the compound with the simplest structure, which is called strobilurin, or strobilurin A, once a, a series of these compounds were discovered. We prepared a sample of strobilurin uh, by synthesis, and when we screened it, we found that in fact, it's only weakly fungicidal, and what's more, it is unstable in light, so it's of course not suitable, it's, it's not going to be a commercial fungicide in its own right. It can't be sprayed onto a leaf surface, it won't survive in the sunlight. Nevertheless, with a knowledge of the structure of strobilurin, we were able to design and then synthesize other related compounds. We made a whole family of compounds, uh, which were then more active, more stable in light, and were also optimized for other properties, properties such as systemicity, which is the way that a fungicide moves in plants to give best fungal control. This was a major synthetic effort involving about 50 chemistry years, uh, 50 man years in chemistry. Uh, and we made it a total of about 1400 analogues before finally azoxystrobin was discovered, the culmination uh, of this research effort. Uh, azoxystrobin has become the world's largest fungicide with annual sales uh, of about 800 million pounds. Uh, one reason for its success is that it is active on a wide range of fungi and it's, and it's used on about 120 different fungal species in 100 different countries around the world. I think above all, this is a story which illustrates the power of organic synthesis. Without organic synthesis, we would not have been able to take an idea from nature and turn it into a commercial fungicide, which is now used globally uh, for the benefit of mankind.